I have made it here at Mpoho Senior High School. When Madam Betty told me that they have farms, I, I, I doubted. But I'm here. I haven't seen anything yet, though. Say, it's here. Say, good morning. Good morning, boss. I have heard your school has some or one of the biggest farms in this region, by the country. Mm -hmm. I don't believe. <laughs> they said you have plantation. You don't like, believe? Like, I don't believe. Oh, then <laughs> today's scene is believing. <laughs> you must start beginning and then try to do everything possible to believe that indeed you are coming to see the all for scene. Amazing. Very great. So this is a coconut? Yes, this is our small coconut plantation. We just uh, uh, planted it about one and a half years ago, just to make the place a very big area and very nice way. Apart from that, so that children would also have access to get something. Amazing. Take, yes. Very good thought. So, so this the this uh, and it goes all the way down there. Then downward towards the ladies, uh, the ladies' dormitory. Oh. Wow. Uh -huh. So this is the only plantation you have. No, there? we have the biggest plantation, which is the oil palm plantation, all over this place. You can go there and have a look at it. This huge plantation. Very huge one. Over over 20, 25 acre. Twenty five acre. And it belongs to the school. Yes, totally for us. So you could see that you shouldn't underestimate for in high school in any way. You see, Abobusa means what? <laughs> Meaning that you are you are surprised. <laughs> what language you are total, is that? You are totally about his fancy. Yes. Abobusa. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Abobusa. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our coconut palm uh, coconut plantation. We have the main uh, oil pump plantation. It's so huge. Now you are looking at it. You are looking at this. Is the drone shot of everything. Okay. I am so amazed. Uh huh. So so amazed. And I, I can see this. I don't know where we are starting. Whether we are starting on the coconut, going to the vegetables, coming to the animal husbandry part, or we are going. You to have the... animals here too. Yeah, we have our bed here. Hundred capacity beds are there. We have piggy at the other side. So today we have a lot to look at before the unit. So let's go here. Okay. That is a small uh, vegetable demonstration farm. <laughs> Your school. You have land. You say you own farm. That is cool. Repent. That is cool. Me, I didn't say any name. That I, is cool. I haven't mentioned any Oh, I know the school that he attended. <laughs> so we have our nice cabbage farm here. Wow. Yes. Some are overripe. We are here to harvest it. We're waiting for buyers to come before they will harvest. More so, we are trying our best to get the best out of it. Can we go inside? Is it possible? Yes. Eda. All right. So this is our small vegetable farm demonstration. It is mature. Yes, very matured. We just bring students to come and then experience the practical way of uh, the agriculture that they are practicing. Today, the government is talking about planting for food and jobs. So the students shouldn't wait until you finish your WASI, your university, and you have nothing to, to do with your, with, your, with, your, with your life. We just start from you that you can do something right from senior high school. So that at least the burden of government employing uh, youngsters would also be reduced. Well, you see, a, a lot of people think farming is a menial, like it doesn't register anything substantial when it comes to work. Yes. But things are changing. This, this is very lucrative. Or that, I'm just over very here, lucrative. Over here. Come and let me show you something. Let me show you something. Look at, look at this bulk garbage. This thing must be mine. <laughs> you see this? And today, this water. Today, at the market, this one is sold at 15 cities. This one? Yes, 15 cities. So assuming you have about, about 1,000 of this, multiply it by even 10 cities. Where's my calculator? I'm not good at math. Yeah, uh -huh, so... Forgive me. 15 times thousand. Yes. Quick, 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 quick. I know you have already calculated and you are you are saying it's your you are saying it in your head that so what we, an idiot. We the the, the boys in high school have seen that students have to talk practically what they must do. So that by the end of the day, you go home and you can do something. 15, 000. 15, 000. <laughs> 15 thousand. Fifteen thousand. Are you sure? Fifteen thousand. Uh, it's thousand five hundred. Yes. Fifteen thousand. It's fifteen thousand. Yes. Oh, fifteen times thousand pieces of yes. This. Fifteen thousand. It's fifteen thousand. Which is old. 150 million yeah. per cities. So as a youngster from secondary school, and this one, less than three months, you get this money. Three months? Yes, less than three months, you get this money. So assuming a student that uh, they get completed senior high school, 
and you can just get 15,000 within three months. Even we probably have to put this camera. How, down how, down many, how many workers in Ghana? How many workers in Ghana? But by the end of three months, <laughs> they can boast of 15,000. 15, yet, agriculture will give it to a young, a young student. And that Please, is why, yes. Stop wasting your time and your life. If I were wasting your time, there's I'm, nothing under the, under the sun. I'm warning you. Wow. Yes. And you see that the moment you saw it, you're happy. You can hold it. Take it along. This is a boss in high school for you. Your cameraman would wish that he has it. Don't worry. And you can see that today, Kukumba. And one like this is five CD. So I assume it. Five CD. Yes, one. Like this is five CD. One. So I assume you have also thousands of this in the same farm. Do the math. So you realize that assuming thousands of this will be also 500. Add it up. And you will see. 15.5. Good. And we are going. And, and it, I'm it, sure by the time you leave there, your, your, just, your, just a, piece, a small a piece small of land though. Agriculture doesn't need vast land before you make it. Even at the back of your, your, your house, you can make agriculture possible. And that is what we are looking at. A lot of people think there are no jobs in this country. For me, it's an issue of innovation. Yes. You know, somebody said that. Somebody visited here in the Western region. Okay. And then he said that if hunger, if, there are hung, if there's anything like hunger, in this region, mm -hmm. it is deliberate. Yes. In fact, even across the whole country, yes. if Ghanaians are complaining of hunger, it is deliberate. Definitely. Like Ghanaians are hungry. That one is true. Because when you, go to, to when you go to Israel, you see the place is very, very uh, rocky and the rest. Yeah, they do agriculture. How much were those of us that we are in the Western region where we can have rain for throughout the year? Hey, Bibini. So you can see that there is the need for us to change our mentality. <laughs> and I believe that Mpoa is in to bring this thing to students so that they will be able to, to, to move to move in a very nice way where they will meet their colleagues and they will say that they are, they are very different. I'm so surprised. Yes. So here is Mpoa Senior High School. Let, let, me, let me try something. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This thing will be more than 500 though. Oh, it's going to be more than 500. And you see, like, like this small bed, you have one, two, three, four, five on it. So, assuming it is 100 beds, that is five. Do the math. So, you could just see. <laughs> and this one is less than even quarter plot. Yes, quarter plot. Okay? Yes. So, if you have a quarter plot that is there doing nothing, yes. perhaps you want to build a house with, but there's no money for it coming. Start with your vegetable. When your money comes, you convert. This is good thinking. You know. Perfect. You cannot get it from anywhere <laughs> apart from post. I didn't know what I I didn't know. And your and the young boy, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's really amazing. It's, it's really and amazing. Everything is happening here at Mpoho Senior. Senior, in fact, at Mpoho Senior, let it be deeper. At Mpoho Senior. At Mpoho Senior. Uh -huh. Because your voice is too thin for that. <laughs> So we are moving towards the, 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 the poultry farm. They, they are feeding their students with this cabbage. Yes. They also have a coconut plantation. Yes. Your school, what do you have? That Not is that I don't have land though. I haven't mentioned any names. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at what I have in my hand. Oh my God. I'm really excited yes. this morning. Actually, when I was told to come here, when uh -huh. education asked me to come here, Yes. I was like, ah, I'm poor. Uh, what kind what of did, 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 did. Uh, It's not about the infrastructure. Yes. No, you have to get me right. But they may it's not like, have anything that you yes, boost up. In terms of farming, uh, I was looking at seven cassava uh, okay. tubes or whatever yes. hanging around somewhere. Maybe that's what I'm saying. Hey. These are the 100 capacity bags. We are just using it as a demonstration. They are all brailers. And by next two weeks to next three weeks, they are going to be. The spatch. The broilers are the ones that lay eggs. No, they don't lay eggs. They don't lay we, eggs. We rear them purposely for their meat. It is the layers that we use purposely for the, the yes, eggs. Layers and uh, broilers. And the others are doers. They lay eggs and you can also eat them at the same time. So wow. we have doers, layers, and broilers. And broilers. 50 bears. 100. 100 bears. Yes. Look at such a small land like this. Uh -huh. A small structure again, like this. Again, again. There, 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 we, like this. there we go again. So let me show you something. Assuming this is your house. And this land is there. Bare. Always you hire people to be to weeding. weeding. Then you pay them. Why don't you convert it into poultry or crops? Once you harvest and you get something. Do we even have school farms in, in regions like Accra, Kumase, uh, Ashanti region? Um, yes, and to our people, do you have school farm? Opukuware, 
uh, uh, Kawege has sent Louis. You people, do, do, do you, do you, do you, is it, is it, the whole thing is that, uh, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. Sometimes people think that Goja is for the illiterate. Yeah. But that matter, if you go to school and they say, that, oh, go ahead with the small portion and let's use it to maybe cultivate cassava or palm plantation or whatever. Ah, I mean, one more than one. Some better than one can come and go to school. Meaning that those who didn't go to school are the one who wait. We really need, we, there has to be a program that will help us change our thinking. Yes. It has to be part of the education curriculum. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, that's, that's what is important, though. Yes. I understand that even in the Western world, uh -huh. they deliberately teach the, the student, the youth, how to be confident. Yes. Like, how to stand in front of the camera and then, and then do presentation yeah. and all that. So when these guys show up, they, they will they do exploit. You. They, they will intimidate you. They start talking. And you know, Ah, I don't know at your time whether during GHS you were doing agriculture at our time. Yes. We were doing agriculture. We were doing, we did it. Today, unless you come to secondary school before you are given opportunity if you want to do agri. So right from next week to GHS, before the child enters secondary school, he doesn't know anything about that. So they've taken agriculture from the GHS. Yes, so now it's not in the junior high curriculum. So the, the student may come to, the student may come to senior high school. Before it's being introduced to agriculture. Education diet, I mean, why? So you could just see that oh. gradually we are killing the spirit of what? Agriculture in the lives of the, the kids who are coming. Yet we say that we want to be food sufficient. How will it be possible? So the child comes and he doesn't know anything about agriculture. So assuming that a pensioner is in the house, he has money sitting in the bank, doesn't know how to do anything with it. And you have a son who has completed post in high school with this background. Daddy just give me some money. We have brought around. Let us do something. This bet less than 10 weeks. They are ready to be sold. 10 weeks. 10 weeks is about two months, two weeks. And they are ready uh -huh. to be sold. And this one, by December 21st to 25th, you can sell one as high as 120 per one. One bet. Yes, 120. Do we let's let's peg it 100 cities and they are 100. How many? Do the math. <laughs> 10, 10 is 100. 10, 10, 10, 10, 100. So 100 million. So, like, so let's assume that yeah, 10, you, spent, you, spent, you spent maybe 5,000 to 6,000 on them. You have a profit of 4,000. 4,000. You've gotten your money back. Tell me which bank that you go and put 100 million in a period of two months, they'll give you 4,000 in addition. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> Tell me. Is it your bank or my bank? So then. I don't even have this one is more than number one <laughs> if you are into poetry it's more than number one you are more than number one yes. <laughs> so you see we are on course the only thing is that sometimes feeding them is a problem but we are managing our interest is about how the student will be able to get the skill so when they go there are others that they have their parents can afford so when they have the skill parents will just give them the finances and then they go into business. That's it. So the pressure of I'm I'm looking for the government, I'm waiting for the government to give me an employment to be a thing from the past. And that is what we are aiming at. Everything is happening here. Live. 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 Your school. Live. Amazing. Uh, you, you can go inside and have a feel. I, I really want to. I just want uh -huh. to find now let me show you something. I want to hold one bed and see the weight. This the wait, wait. This is our fourth part. It has been disinfected so that as you are walking along, you may be taking maybe some microbacterials or other bacterials which can cause infection. Mm. So you just put the feet of your shoe in there like this. Ah. In like this. So that if there's any pathogen, you don't send them in to go and kill our bed. So do so. <laughs> oh, this, this, uh, don't this, worry. It's a lizard. Though. Yes. Amazing. Just small one. Good. It's happening here yeah. at Mpoho uh, Senior High School. Good. So you can now enter. fully equipped. Yes. Come and see chicken. Uh -huh. Can I touch one? You can not you, you can hold any. Look at the bigger one there. You can just hold it. My friend. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's very heavy. And this one is seven weeks. So it's left with about five more weeks or four weeks. So add four weeks to seven. And come and weigh it again. And you will see the weight. This is important in your high school for you. It's amazing, right? Really, I'm glad you are using the word. My entry, my entry, my entry, my entry. Amazing. Yeah. And you have a uh, 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 plantain. You have plantain. Hey. 
you think I'll forget. See, see what is happening. <laughs> this man cannot go without the cabbage and then the cucumber. <laughs> think I'll forget. No weapon. No weapon. <laughs> so, <laughs> amazing. I don't know. We are going to look at the palm plantation. The palm plantation. Yes. The coconut it stretches down there. Goes all the way uh, down there. Wow. So, but my <coughs> major joy for you people is the palm plantation. Okay. Because it's a major cash crop. Yes. And it's going to go a long way to um, help the school. I mean, yeah. When it is harvested and it is sold. You know, it can go a long way to definitely bring in a, a little finance. To Let's bring what we call IGF, internally generated fund. Internally. And that's what the school should focus on. Yes. See, the government is doing it. There's bit, pressure but, on the government. Yes. There's pressure on the government. But you can help. Yes. You can you can help yourself. Oh. Definitely. Look at what is happening here. Definitely. Now, I want to find out, I want to know the background of the agriculture aspect part of this school. How did it happen? Okay, the school started, I think, in 1991, with some few students, about seven, eight students. And the main aim was to project agriculture in the district and then Western region at large. And so from there, it continued and continued until 2018, mm. where the school went to Bob. And we have vast land that could be used for plantation. So if they could be of help. Bob, Ben, yes, so oil palm plantation. plantation. Yes. So they came to our aid in the year 2018. And then we gave them the land. We started doing the plantation. They brought, they brought us the seed. They gave us fertilizer that we should do. With the aim that when it is matured and we are harvesting, we can't sell it to any other person. They are going to, to. They will sell it um, or buy it. Because they are producing yeah. oil. So it was like partnership. And so this one is having ready market. There is no need for us to go and look for market for it. It's already having the market there. Because Bob is ever ready. Any amount or number that we are going to get from harvest, Bob is ready to pay. Wow. Yes. Wow. And it's amazing. Look at this. Let's count the number of bunches on this one alone. One. One. Two. Two. Okay, let's count it. Like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So just one, one tree is having about nine bunches. So if a bunch is maybe sold for, let's say, even three CD times the nine bunches. Three times nine is what? Three, so, three, assuming three, this, three, this plantation is about. <laughs> this man is not doing more calculation. I don't know. So, you can just see that. <laughs> yes. So, that is a hair gosh. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, look at this. Don't blame me. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at uh, this one is, is chow. Chow, chow, chow. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 bunches. You are blessed. On one tree. So now, even if one is 3 CD, multiply by 9. 3, 9 is 27. Multiply by the total number of trees that we have. And it's, it's 25 acres. 25 acres. Of vibrant trees, palm trees. Everything. Okay. None of them is diseased. None of them is not producing. See, if you have a school land, I don't even have to advise you. I know you are advising yourself. You are there. You are watching this video. You're going like, you, you are. You are saying. You are saying to yourself that, why am I like this? <laughs> you know, there are there are some schools that land are just there bare. The heads are not using it for anything, waiting for a project from the government to be done on it. It has been there 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. That land is still there. Why don't you go into agriculture with it? So that at any point in time where your project is ready, you just take them off. For 30 years, 40 years, some schools are over 100, some are 70. The land is still there. If you have planted uh, this is oil palm plantation, it would have been there yielding money. And that is what our leaders must look at.
Asa ho. <laughs> no, this, is, this is free consultation. Nothing that you have to pay. Free consultation. You can go on and on and on. This is where the, the boys' dormitory is. I can see um, these demarcations here. I can see these demarcations here. Yes. Well, well, is this for you? Yes. We, we all know that agriculture is meant for everybody. Whether, whether you are from Europe, whatever you eat. Yes. And, and therefore, we are not restricting only our cultural students to participate in our cultural and Eastern activities. Now we have broadened our, 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 our scope, where every student should have an opportunity to get him or herself involved. So in you, you know about our great time? Yes. By Madame Felicia Jebiao Okan. Definitely. That's what you're doing here. Definitely. And so we have a great time here where every student is entitled to at least have one period in the farm just to come and have an experience about how agriculture is all about. It could happen that you'll be a banker, a journalist, or whatever, yet you are interested in agriculture. At the back of your house, you can do something. Let's take it uh, this way. Dumelu is an actor, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Now look at the project that he's doing in agriculture. So when the interest is there, whether you did the course or not, the passion will be there and you move it forward. You know what is interesting about this whole thing? You see, at the end of the day, if in the worst case scenario, the goal um, for us is to, um, um, whatever job we want to pursue, yes. the goal is to make some funds and then use it to eat. So in the worst case scenario, <laughs> about 60% of the salary that we get goes into food. Okay, yes. about 60%. So if 60% of your salary is for food and you yes. have something to feed yourself, okay. That 60% is in your pocket. It's money for you. It's for what's in there? What's in there? And this guy has in there Monday, Monday morning here for what? Hey. Oh, golf and open. Hey, that's the capital of golf. Any day now, me and some nine come golf. I didn't my friend go watch for And this guy say, "Ese, I'm going to the bank." So, our great time is really working here. Yeah. So we are that's we are demarcating for every wow. class so that they will also participate. I understand this this portion is for visual visual students. Art. Now you can just see how on earth would you have some schools visual, <laughs> visual. Art going into agriculture? Yeah. It's only it's only in post in high school. I'm sad for my school. Yeah. Okay. I don't oh, know what's no, happening no, there. Don't be sad. I don't this know what's is an initiative there. that you can also what is happening there. there. Okay, I'll come and see it. <laughs> 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 so, we have so, some cassava, we have some cocoa yam, trying to put one or two plantains so that at least this is a form of mess cropping. Uh -huh. Mess cropping. Yeah. I hope you remember those in your, your agriculture time. Mess cropping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I do remember that. A one. system of farming where different crops are grown on the field at the same time. I do remember that we one. We have some portion yam for tomato. Joy, today interested in being agriculture. <laughs> It's so a great time. Look, yes. even the teachers have engaged themselves in you know, it, like personal farming and yes. all that. Now they have this tomato here. Mm -hmm. Tomato and uh, gardeners. Everything, everything is here. Spinach. Yes. And they are also um, taking advantage to um, do recycle. Yes. You see, because this thing, they could have been in the sea by now. Mm -hmm. but look, and at the same time, you can also use it as a as an irrigation. Irrigation. You open, you can pour water, and then it will be supplied and it's in the soil itself. Allah. Mm -hmm. Only at Mpoho SHS. So you see. Ah. So assume you have this type of coconut in your house, at the back of your house. And it happens that you are hungry, you want some fruit juice. This will be the best fruit juice for you. You don't have to worry. Even my grandmother can pluck it. Okay. <laughs> that is a post in high food. Amazing. Uh huh. You see? So, you see? I think, I think, I think it's a, it's a, do, do what you, speech, 
is it species or yes type of coconut? Yeah, this one is a is a hybridized one. Oh, okay. uh, the one that locally they call it agri kubi. Agri kubi. Ah, uh, but it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Okay. Now, when you are in Takrade and you feel like taking coconut today, one coconut is sold at four cities. Four cities. Now let's count the number of fruit on this one. I like the calculation we are doing. One, two, morning. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you what just ten is what forty. Yes, forty plus four cities. Good. Forty four cities. Good. But they're bunch. So if you have four bunches on on a, on a tree, that alone is giving you over one hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty. Just for one one, one one tree. So assuming you have five hundred trees, you are gone. You are gone. You can buy bands yes. very soon. And these ones are less than two years, and they have started what? Fruiting. Fruiting. Yeah, at big time, big time school. business. You have school lunch. Yes. You say, I don't care. Now, you see, the most funny aspect <laughs> is that this is the girl's dormitory. Mm. And you know, girls, they like taking fruit and the rest. Yes. So, assuming there is this coconut, a girl can just come and sit here and pluck enjoying it. the breeze at the same time, plugging coconut to enjoy. Isn't so, it wonderful? So, they are in school, but they are enjoying yeah, enjoy at the same it. time. So, whether there is food or no food, life must go on. Ma life must go on. Yes. This, this is the pigry. Yes. This is the post in I just have to put this one down before they is attack it, me. This one is, is, not, is not ready to put the vegetables down. <laughs> <laughs> this pig is capable of anything. Yes. It's beautiful. Come and see. Pig green. At, hey, yes. This one is beautiful. We had, we oh, had right. over 60 pigs here. But because of high cost of feeding, we have to sell some. So that we can use it to feed them. We've been feeding them with There is something run. different about this place. Yes. I just want to. Is the smell? Yes. Very hygienic, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very you hygienic. can smell anything. You here. can sit here and eat and do anything without feeling anything. We have what is called IMO, where we are trying to eliminate that bad odor and then the dirty nature of the pigs. Because people have the belief that pigs are dirty. And so that notion has to be cleared off. So we decided that we produce pigs that are hygienic and fatless. How 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 did you do that? I can't smell anything here. Yes. Though. Like seriously, I'm now, not exaggerating. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The the sawdust is there to soak their urine. You see, normally when the urine is mixed up with their feces, mm. that brings the smell together with the food that they eat if you don't clean it on time. But here is the case that we have sawdust. Periodically, we remove the soil as when they become dirty and we refill them. Oh. So, always the background is so neat, like as you are wearing a bed, pottery. You realize that anytime you go there, the feces are being soaked in the soil. Yes. And that is the concept that we are, we are using here. This so, is, this is cool, eh? Anybody who will come here would want to have the same way of farming the pigs. Because it's very neat and very hygienic. And it's very simple. And this one, when you are in a residential area, you can do it. Because the scent will not bother anybody. People would like to adapt this so method. Yes. Can you go, throw more light on it? Yes. Now, what happens is that you just have to dig the portion where you want your, your animal to stay in, which is the area. Hmm. Then maybe two feet will be okay. Or maybe one, one inch. One inch will be okay. Then you fill it with sawdust. The moment you fill it with sawdust, then you make your feeding trough and your water trough. Here, this one is very big. Mm. With the notion that pigs don't like stress. And so we're able to fill it with water so that when they are under stress, they can just lie in like swimming pool. Uh, that's why you see pigs walk down into water and then yes, they lie. Because they don't like stress. So we have that in, at the back of our mind that why don't you make it a little bit light? So that we fill it with water and then they can drink at the center when they feel stressed, they can be inside. So you have one for water, you have one for food. And sometimes because they are big, you have to make the place a little bit more wide so that some will be eating while they are standing in the in the in the food. Doesn't it doesn't matter. And then with the feces, mm. please let, let me have a look at this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See so yeah, the feces yeah, are there. Yeah, yeah. So you may just have a broom or a rake. With your dust dust pan, you just carry only the feces and go and throw it away. So you can see that the sawdust will always be clean. Because you see, if it was to be bare uh, floor yeah. like that, it, they would have peeing on it. They'll be peeing 
be putting everything on it and it will be soaked. Pacha. Pacha. And they will be lying inside. So assuming you brought your friend, maybe smart. from outside, and they oh, I want pig to eat, or I want to get pork. Then they said, Oh, we have a farm. They went and looking at the nature of the pigs. Oh, we don't like this one is not hygienic. But for this one, it's like it's like it's living in the bedroom. <laughs> you get it? It's living in the bedroom. We call it stainless. No spot. And it, the stainless pork farm. Yes. And uh, one time the policeman came and bought I don't last year. They came back and said, ah, this kind of pork, how do you read them? Because all the pigs that we've been buying around to kill for, for our, our 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 parties, they are all fat and they were they were dirty when we brought them. I said, no, ours is different. Say so yes, because we couldn't even get small fat. They were all meat. Say so yes, because of the way we feed them. So let's say this one would be like how much? This one, yes. this one gave but not quite long. And so we are now trying to rebuild it. But if it comes to form, you can sell it for over 2000 this, this Let me show you this one. This, this male one. Look at the testicle. Yeah. Uh, this, can, this one can be sold at 2500 This small pig now... Assuming a student, because for here we involve students in whatever that we do, because our aim is that they should get the skill. So, assuming a student completed post in high school, a Greek, and he has the skill, then you go and say, Daddy, I've learned a lot of skills. I want to practice. I want to go into pigry. And he's able to get a small lamb like this. Just look at the structure size. And he has. It's not even up to one plot. Yeah. That's why you even have to quarter plot. And as only he has this one, 20. Mm. Only this one, this size, 20. And one is 2,000. Two, two is four. So that is 400 million, right? Hello? 40,000 Ghana yes. cities. And then the guy will be walking like this. Yes. Small boy, less than 20 and he's years. He's coming like this. He's having this. And this one, <laughs> this one is about, this one is about nine to, to 10 months. And it can grow bigger yes. than this. Okay? Huh. Wow. So you can see that unemployment is there, but we can also do something about it. One thing about Ghanaian youth is that we always want white college job. That's, that is that's the issue. That's the issue. The guy wants to just put on suit and tie for the ladies to know that, yes, this is the guy. He has a But a man from a tie. It was a volunteer boot as a way they had no coin. And then he has some. I'm so sad. a guy can come to boys in high school, do a break. He go to university. Say I will not pursue a break again. I'm going to do different course because I cannot be wearing wearing thing. But if you see the prospect of it, nobody will tell you to put the suit down and go and take the. Charlie, we will do farming, very big time farming. You're taking a good decision. You you be short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, HSA farm. <laughs> You'll be shocked. You start supplying all the school food. <laughs> well, I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm letting you go. I have advised myself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we are not going to the high school. I really like we, this place. We pray that. Uh, I am coming back here in January. Okay. Yes. You are most welcome. I'm coming to meet the head prefect of this school. Oh, you'll be there live. And then I want you to brag about your school. Oh, yeah. To me. Yes. Oh, and the rest of us watch it. A serious, impressive work you've done over here. Right. And when I was coming, I wasn't so sure when they asked me to come here, but I'm so blown away. But I want to find out what um, motivated you to start this project. Well, you know, the school runs a great pro program. So being a school that runs a great pro uh, program or a great as a program, mm -hmm. we thought it wise that the student, after having the theory, in the classroom should have a hands-on experience of whatever they have learned. Oh, I mean okay. the practical aspect of okay. whatever they learn in the classroom. Okay. Hence, whatever you have seen today. Amazing. But yeah. I would also want to say that I owe a lot to my predecessor in the person of Mrs. Alberta Kofikwesin, who started a, a palm plantation and the a pigry. Oh, okay. And being a biologist myself, I have also come to improve upon what Madam I mean, yes. the one at Axing Girls. Girls. Yes, oh, please. okay. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It has given the student the chance to have the practical aspect of whatever 
they learned in the classroom or they will learn in the classroom. Apart from that, we also generate funds internally out of the various farms that we have, the piggery, the poultry, the demonstration farms. And it will surprise you to note that early this year when uh, the schools were not having uh, enough food to feed students, we cultivated cucumber, sold the cucumber, and the proceeds we use it to buy gari and beans to feed our students. Amazing. So it's really beneficial Amazing. to the school and to the, uh, the student as well. Wow. The little advice I, I have for them is that I will encourage them to also go into uh, farming. Go into farming. Because apart from generating funds for the school as IGF, the students will also have the chance to have practical aspects of whatever they learn. You know what? Some students may not be able to climb the academic ladder or continue with their education. Sure. But with the experience they have in maybe poultry, pea green, in crop production, they can go into that and they will be fine. Exactly. And they will be fine. Exactly. So I would advise that they all go into that. <laughs> so uh, my time here at Mpoho Senior High School, I have really enjoyed this place and I can't wait to be back here uh, come January 2023. Madam, thank you for everything that you're doing over here and um i want to say congratulations and we're looking forward to seeing more here on behalf of my school community we also want to say thank you for giving us this exposure we are very grateful thank you and madam. we are looking forward to seeing you in general big time most definitely thank you madam <laughs> you are welcome <laughs>